You are too. So it's the 19th of September 2023. Um, so some headlines and the silent majority. So on the left hand side, <clears throat> I'm a microbiologist and here's what I think about the likelihood of a winter lockdown. So 651 dislikes. Uh, I could go into the comments, but I'll leave it. I'm sure it's, in fact, you know what, I'll go into the comments. Um, what I want to draw attention to is just how how good the uh, the silent majority in this country are. You know, the ordinary people who just go to work, get the job done and go home and want a peaceful life. Obviously, we're not being allowed that these days because of the lefties and the tyrants, which are lefties as well. Um, but you notice in the comment sections, the... The, uh, the like to dislike ratio, which is why YouTube banned it on their videos. You know, the silent majority is there, and uh, the let the voices known on there. Um, so, let's read a comment here. Not happening in this house, that's for sure. A friend's got a cold, as have I, just for the record. Nothing out of the ordinary, just a sniffle. And because it sneezed, but she's been told, must test for the certain virus. Um... Let's have another one. We've got a lunatic here, George Foster. Masks should be worn in shops, offices, trains, buses, etc. <laughs> 17 likes, 182 dislikes, 48 replies. Um, Sawyers, give it over. It ain't happening. We've woken up to this. <laughs> Brian Cox, what a waste of time. I'll completely ignore it. That won't be the real Brian Cox. Um, he's part of it. Part of a gang, isn't he? Um, gave it over. It's not so. So have a look at George Foster's replies. Why George? They don't work. Someone's to, Chris. Chris Craig is my name. Yes, they do. They stop you infecting other people. They are not designed to prevent you from being infected by people not wearing them. You need a mask. I'll be in ninety-five for that one. Honestly, fucking retards. George Foster. Craig is my name. Absolute retards. Um, obviously, you'll be triple poked up. To, well, you'll be poked up to the eyeballs, won't you? So sadly, you know, like uh, the Darwin Awards going to you, and um, you know, clap. Anyway, but getting back to the original point, it's the silent majority that cheers me up when I go onto when I go onto YouTube and uh, the internet. Um, hopefully, I can get on. And also, there's a lot of um, people passing away at the minute. Obviously, some of us know what, why that is. Yeah, Irish Grinstead, I've seen a lot about her. And the latest insanity, Stonehenge was built by black people. Uh, that came out last night. Amazing news. I mean, I only have to look at them pictures from 1945 at the end of World War Two, where um, everyone's white in Britain. But apparently, uh, so in this delusional, crazy mind of certain black people and liberals, Britain was black, then white people came here, kicked the black people out, and then <laughs> race doesn't exist, but black people can be uh, victims of racism. <laughs> uh, anyway, but getting back to my main point about the silent majority, um, if you look on the comments, what a load of rubbish. Nearly 2,000 people have liked it. Uh, stop this absolute nonsense. This world's going mad. Nearly 2,000 likes to 22 dislikes. Like I said a minute ago, it's, it's all about the silent majority at the end of the day. Um, forget the, the liberal elite nonce club, the crazy uh, fucking Marxists uh, are making up all this rubbish. They're irrelevant, really, aren't they? It's the, the ordinary people that get... Uh, get work done and keep the red down and work hard that matter um, just so, so if you weren't aware Stonehenge was built by black people a new children's history book was claimed I'm sure there was a communist I can't remember which one it was that said we'll get you by your children and they've infiltrated all the universities, colleges and um, schools fucking adverts um, <clears throat> I mean you only have to look at this advert in the bottom right here it's nearly always a bloody mixed race family into it and that's going to pound into the subconscious of the masses but yeah they, they obviously get the children brainwash them in the schools the factories um, and so anyway 
Readers of brilliant black British history by the Nigerian-born British author. Nigerian-born British author. So he's Nigerian. He's not British, is he? Fuck, Nigerians again. Same as Anthony Joshua. I mean, amazing athlete, don't get me wrong. But he's Nigerian. And he's got a tattoo of Africa on his arm. He knows where his roots are. It's not Britain. Britain just gives him all the comfort. Um... <laughs> So, the Neolithic monuments in Wilshire was built while Britain was a black country. <laughs> the, the book, which is aimed at children aged seven and above, also tells readers that every single British person comes from a migrant and that the very first Britons were black. And got any proof for that? Absolute rubbish. They've only, they only started coming here from 1948 when Britain was finally fully built. You know, we had electricity, we had houses, laws, you know, that's when it all started flooding in. And there's the um, the front cover. The thing is, what I've noticed with me, like my YouTube channel, I'll do this, but there's plenty of other much better people than myself. History debunked. Um, who else covers it? Chris Fall covers it, but he doesn't really get involved in the racial stuff. History debunked seems to be the main person for for that. Um, just to add as well, I've finished off with. Um, a comment on on the scary Smithwick video, and he said, "Oh, just get over it. You know, get over the fact that we're now a multicultural society." And I'm just like, "No, you know, we were never asked. Uh, and where does it end? And and also, their interests are against our against our interests. For example, the black business meeting next week. This, you know, this is another example. Their interests are against our interests. So." You know, like, and also all your ancestors, all the hard work that they did, all the building. You think people were getting burnt at the stake a couple hundred years ago, and it took people to finally fight back because they were sick of it. Um, and you're just throwing it all away. You know, all the wars that were fought, the English Civil War, the War of the Roses, the wars against, you know, like France, and I admit today they, they were probably all organised by the upper class, you know, to get, lead the masses into scrapping against each other. But Regardless, that's everything your ancestors have been through. And even if you go right back thousands of years ago fighting bears in the woods, but now you're content to just throw it all away and hand it over. You're fucking disgraceful, honestly. Um, uh, the book takes readers through it. An over overview of the presence of black people in Britain. It says that Britain was a black country 7,000 years ago before white people came. And during that time, the most famous British monument was built, Stonehenge. <laughs> we built Stonehenge and shit. <laughs> uh, so they also had likely had brown eyes and black or dark brown hair well a lot of the Celts the Celtic people the original native population were um, you know they were swarthy you still see them today a lot of the Welsh people they're quite swarthy looking um, almost Mediterranean which is fair enough you know but it doesn't mean the black does it um, what else have we got Here's an interesting point. Research published in 2019 suggested Neolithic farmers who built Stonehenge had paler skin and were descended from populations originating in Anatolia in what is now Turkey. Well, I've got a theory about Caucasians, and I've heard it somewhere before, that they came... It was Dr. James Wickstrom who's passed away now, but he was very good at uh, talking and giving presentations, but we're called Caucasians. And the Caucasus Mountains are, are not far away from Turkey. So as a theory, that's where we came from, Europeans. And then we went through the Caucasus Mountains. Some people went east to Afghanistan, Pakistan, because you'll find um, Europeans are still over that way. Uh, Russia, obviously people went to Russia. Some stopped off in Slavic Europe. And then the Celts, you know, they pushed on to Ireland, Britain, France, uh, the Germanic and Scandinavians stopped off in Germania, Scandinavia. You know, and that's how we all spread out. But we came from that area around Turkey in the Middle East. Um, here we go. So, by the Middle Ages, Britain was a hodgepodge of people, according to the author. Again, if you've got any evidence for this, the population was made up of the original British migrants. Celts, Romans, Britons, Anglo-Saxons, Vikings, Africans and Normans. Of course, of course we had Africans there, definitely. Yeah, they were definitely living in the snow, and why wouldn't they? Why would they, Why would you possibly want to leave a warm climate like Africa and go to Europe where it's freezing cold, uh, it's muddy, it's wet, 
uh, you know, you probably would experience much worse racism back then, and you certainly wouldn't have any. You wouldn't even have the race race card on your on your side back then. So, yeah, of course you come to come to Britain, wouldn't you? Definitely, fucking idiots. Um, a page on the Black Lives Matter movement says that although race does not scientifically exist, black people suffer institutional <laughs> racism. <laughs> fucking hell, man! These people are mental. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just another level of insanity, really, isn't it? Um, race does exist. We're all different races. Um, even within the white race, there's different types. Within the black race, there's different types. Uh, within the Oriental community, there's different types of races. You know, you can tell a Japanese person from a someone from the Philippines, for example. Um, what else have we got? <clears throat> Is this a survey? Yeah, there we go. The Nigerian born author Atunaki, or whatever the fucking name is. Um, looks more light brown. And Anthony Joshua's quite light brown, to be fair, as well. Um, probably got some European blood in her. DNA test suggests he had black skin, dark curly hair, and blue eyes. Um, yeah, there's loads of people. Fucking. Uh, what's his name? Is it Piers? Piers Brosnan, Piers Brosnan, he's dark hair, blue eyes, isn't he? Hugh Grant, dark hair, blue eyes. That's a Celtic look. Um, most of the Irish got curly, dark hair and blue eyes. Anyway, I've rambled on, but one I wanted to definitely say was, uh, you know, about the, the silent majority. We're out there, you know, the, the tide's turning, you only have to look at the likes and the dislikes, and that's the reason why YouTube, um, I've gone to YouTube now, <clears throat> go on to any video they're about to get rid of a dislike video for a reason you see at the bottom corner 1.5 versus and obviously they took the, the dislike video dislike ratio off yeah that's it cheers